everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. Today I decided I just wanted to show you some of the progress I've made in my current glue book. I've been working pretty uh, steady at it the last few days that I haven't done videos. So I just kind of wanted to show you where I'm at. This is an altered vintage Reader's Digest book. I added some fabric to the spine. I have three signatures and I decorated the cover. Okay, so inside this trim right here, I forgot to mention in the past, was from Happy Mail and I saved it and I used it here. It's starting to get a little fuzzy from catching on this glitter, but that's okay. It adds character. Okay, so we have page one. You guys have seen this. If you can't read what it says, it says, my decisions are not always right, but they are always interesting. Isn't that the truth? And then on this page I have, we believe in arts. And then I had um, these two um, pictures from famous art artists that I put here. And then, yeah, I guess I don't need to explain everything. So these have different size pages in this glue book if you haven't seen it yet. So like this, I might just leave it. I might add a quote, I'm not sure. And then this was given to me in Happy Mail and I just trimmed it out in washi tape, rainbow washi tape, and added a butterfly and added Wink of Stella on it so the butterfly is glittery. And then I added the antenna with stickles. This page says, I don't understand your specific kind of crazy, but I do admire your total commitment to it. <laughs> so this lady's wearing this mask. I don't know, I just put it on there because why not? Okay, moving on. This side, I have a Louis Vuitton skateboard in the sand. I'm gonna add more to this page. I just don't know what yet. So some of these pages aren't finished yet. I just kind of flip and flop through the book to find images that I like and see if they fit anywhere. I have this image. There's a little bit of glue right here. Come off. You have to be careful because the color will come off. Okay. And then I still have this image that I don't have anything on it yet, but I will. And then this one um, came like this. It's already kind of collaged. And then I added some, I think this is Delusions washi tape around the edges. And then I still have space to put stuff. This says, at times I'm grateful that thoughts don't actually appear in bubbles over our heads. <laughs> so true. And then I have, so this was, um, scrapbook paper that had just green dots on it and I went through and messily added some gold and blue around the circles just for more uh, texture behind this lady and then I've had this kid forever and it's just kind of one of those images that I just hoarded I don't know why he's just so stinking cute so I added him to the page that has books behind because he's got a little backpack on just kind of reminds me of like kids are so excited to get back into the classroom see their friends and stuff so put that there I still have empty page here and then this says relax we're all crazy it's not a competition <laughs> I've got a cat upside down I've got a ram a swan or a goose whatever that is and then some chicken and eggs sitting on the ram so there's that and then on this page it says I don't play hard to get. I play never gonna happen. <laughs> and this girl just looks so sassy. And then I added these eyes to her. So she looked like she was, you know, like looking off to the side. This is still empty, obvi. And then this page, I just had a bunch of paper torn up from book page. So I just collaged book page all on here. And then I added this um, lightning bolt scrapbook paper behind. And then I've had this image forever. Like, I don't even know how long. So I stuck that there. So I have that cute little page. And then I put this uh, background I just harvested in my magazine harvest video. And I just love it. And so I put this on the page. And then I added her. And then I forgot to cut out her little thing right here but it actually goes with this picture back here so it kind of ties in together and then I had this guy forever and this head forever so I just kind of combined them 
Um, and then this is the artwork that this lady did. And I just thought it was cool. And I found this perfume ad and it was really thick and it helped to use the really thick, um, either scrapbook paper or really thick ads, um, in the magazines I found on my thinner scrapbook paper, just to give it a little bit more, um, sturdiness to it. So this was actually a perfume ad and the ad was cute on its own. It just had a really pretty like Chanel perfume bottle, but then I just thought that this picture was cool and it just, I don't know, I liked how it looked. And then on this one, I had the cookies here and then I found this lady holding this fish, wearing this fancy dress with tennis shoes. Then I gave her a cat head and this was that cat head that had an open eye and I just didn't like that. So I added a human eye to it and then put one of a kind. Um, this is like not one of my favorite pages, but oh well, I had fun making it. And then this one, I just took um, from my recycle bin, a piece of magazine that just was like blue. And then actually this was from that magazine harvest I just did of, um, Kim Kardashian's little sister who was taking drone footage of herself and the background was this blue. So I put that in there and then I added this smiley face and I put create your happy. And then I had this cow that said, nope. And then I found this, it says, think again. And the cow's like, nope. <laughs> and then my hummingbird, I still haven't put anything with it yet. I don't know what I want to put there. Then I had this lady with the lemons all over her face. So I put the easy peasy lemon squeezy quote on there. Oh, this one I'm so proud of. Okay, so I had the, I cut this out in my magazine harvest of this lady with um, a lighter and it had some flame on it, on it, but when I cut the flame, it just looked really stupid. So I cut off the flame. So like she hasn't started the lighter yet, right? So I glued this on there and then I went and found a candle and the candle had a flame on it. And so I put it upside down and now it looks like the lighter, like this is the lighter flame, but it's actually the candle flame. And I was just really, really proud of that. There's that, okay. And then I still have my bug. I don't know what else I wanna put with my pretty bug. I just love this page, probably one of my favorites and it's so plain. I added this big mouth here on the front of this scrapbook paper. And then I found her, which she's just so cool with her little mask, it's so creepy. And I added some washi tape on the edges there. And I have my look ferocious guy. And this chick, I still haven't done anything with her yet. And this hasn't changed. And him, so his lip sticks out here and I wanna put like a really good quote, but I've been like auditioning. <laughs> little characters like hanging off his lip here. And I just haven't found anything I loved yet. So I haven't done anything with him yet. And on this page, this was an ad, this whole background here. So I had the background there and then I added all these little cats that I've been cutting out of my magazines lately. So I added those three cats. And then this says be savage, savage not average. And then I added some um, thick, cardstock scrap that I had here. And then this was cool in a magazine. It says Medusa and it's this really pretty jellyfish. And then I have this, haven't added anything to it yet, but a lady reading in there. And then this lady with the cow. I've had this kid forever. So I finally added her down. I need to add more to this. I just don't know what yet. And then this, so this was an ad I cut out in my recent harvest, and but this green paper with all these colored things were, um, was wrapping paper from my nephew's fourth birthday party. So when he was done opening his present, I jumped on the floor and grabbed his wrapping paper <laughs> from his grandma. It was so cool. So I used that in the background, added this square blue piece, and I added live your best day, I'm sorry, live your best life every day. And then I added a butterfly and these colorful flowers. And then this cute little dog that says employee of the month. I love this page, it's so colorful. It's probably one of my favorites. And then I have spaces here for more stuff. Oh, and I put this little kid there. I've had her for a while now. And then I had this one, I cut out this chick 
and I added the dude's head and then I put an octopus because she's got the beach background. I don't know. I I had fish in the sky here and stuff. I just don't know what I want to do with this yet. So I had to move on for a minute because I was getting a little frustrated. And then on this, I had said that I loved this in my last video because it was so simple. So then I had this word simple that I've had forever. So I put simple right there. And then this cute little dog who's like smiling. Oh my God, I just want this dog so bad. Um, I added some Dollar Tree scrapbook paper behind it and then just put the dog in the middle so it looks like a little frame. And then this cute little dog that I added last time. And then I did add the Stormtrooper to the s'mores. So I've got him on there. And then on this one, I added the quote, I know the voices aren't real, but man, do they come up with some great ideas <laughs> with the little kids sitting on the box. And then this lady, I just think she's stunning. So I just added her and I haven't put anything with it yet because I just feel like I kind of like her the way she is, but we'll see. And then I had these s'mores here and then I had this lady I cut out who's laying on the ground reading a book. So I put her there and then had her leaning on the s'mores so I still have more to do on this page I'm not done there I had this apple that I recently cut out and it just has this tiny little stem with the leaf and I felt like I was just gonna rip that off so I just glued this down because I didn't want to lose this pretty little apple and um, ruin it so I still have more to add on that page and then this one with the cool bird I added this quote it says little by little one travels far and I just thought that was cute because it's a big bird on a little train. Um, and then I added diners, drive-ins, and dives on here because this is obviously, you know, travel road signs. So I thought that was cool since he travels everywhere. I should, I've used Guy Fieri in a lot of my glue books before because every time I see him, I always cut him out. But I need to find him again and put him on here. And then this, I added more washi around my pug and it says, if it requires getting out of bed, I'm not doing it. <laughs> if you have a pug, this is so pug. And then on this one, I added my yoga girl and it says, namaste healthy. And then I added a different face to her because I just thought that was hilarious. Still have more space here and here and here. And then I found this ad. It says just the right amount of wrong. So you've got the sweet little girl in her pink with her cupcake. And then the little risque lady over here. I just, I don't know. I thought that was a cool ad. And then I have this says don't be a chicken. And I need, I'm going to add a chicken right here. But I just can't find one yet. I mean, I'm sure I have one somewhere. But I'm not in any rush. So I'm going to add a little chicken here. And then I added these Lucky Strike cigarettes. Okay, the reason why I did it, first of all, I think cigarettes are nasty, but I feel like it's one of those things that, you know, when I was a kid, they were around everywhere. Every, everybody smoked. You smoked in restaurants. You just smoked in a bank. You smoked everywhere in your car. And I feel like cigarettes are like slowly, you know, going to the wayside. They're going to be gone. But I just, I don't know. It's just kind of memories of, it's kind of a cool old I don't know why. I just did it. <laughs> I just put them there. Not that I'm promoting smoking or anything, because whatever. And then I put this on my Instagram the other day. I actually was going to toss her in the garbage because I cut out her lips because she had like these juicy red lips in my recent magazine Harvest. I talked about her. But then I had her face and I was like, well, these are perfect glasses that she's wearing. So I cut out this blue is actually the scrapbook paper that this image is on. So I had cut out the lens and then glued it down. And so it was this blue scrapbook paper behind. And then I added some coral and then these two little fish. And then I used my glitter glue for some little glitter bubbles. And then I outlined her glasses in pen, uh, Posca pen. So there's that cute little fish scene in her glasses. Thought that was really fun. I had fun with that. And then I still have that image. See, I still have lots of places to add stuff. Um, I just did this, so it's still kind of wet and it's already getting wrinkly. I don't know. Anyways, I've had this, this three burger thing forever. It came in a free, came in a coupon ad that came in the mail. And so I cut out from like a burger place, fast food restaurant. So I 
um, excuse me. <coughs> so I cut it out. I've had this beer forever. So I just went through my magazines that like I glue on because I've already taken everything that I want out. And I found a page that had like color and it had these food things right here, these circles, and I love circles. So I thought that would look cool. The writing is all underneath the burger. So I put the burger over the top of the writing and the beer. And then, yeah, I have this now. That's still kind of wet. I added this cat. This came from an ad. And then on this side is that blue scrapbook paper. Um, I had this plate, this colorful plate for a while. So I glued that here just on the edge. And then I had this cool um, image that I just cut out with an astronaut and a beer with the moon. He's sitting on the moon looking at earth and it had this little teeny tiny astronaut right here that I just kind of hung off the edge like he's sitting there. And then I've had this watch forever. So I just put this watch on this blue scrapbook paper background. And then I cut this out in my recent magazine harvest and put this in. I'm going to do more with it. I just don't know what yet. And then I have all this back here. I still need to work on. Oh, I've had this guy forever. I took him out of a magazine harvest video a long time ago and he's carrying this huge bag. So I stuck it on here with all the like road signs, like he's traveling. And then I've had this image for a while and I just thought it was really cool. So I stuck it on here. And then on the last page, I've had her forever, and I put her, her here, and then I'm gonna add more to it. So as you can see, I have added a lot to this book. It has gotten really big um, and chunky, and because I didn't have a ton of pages in it to start with, um, it's really given me a lot of room to play and, um, you know, at first I was like, gosh, I really didn't put all that many pages in here, but man, I have been working like hours nonstop gluing in here and I still have so much more space to glue. It is unreal. So I think this was the perfect amount of pages to add in. I'm gonna have to go back and count um, and see exactly how many I added because I'm gonna make another one of these books. I absolutely love it. The size is perfect. Um, I like that I used one-sided scrapbook paper because it allows me to use the blank side to add like my square non-fussy cut images that I've had forever. You know what I mean? Like, like this blank piece allows me to put like, you know, a full piece on it. And then the decorative scrapbook paper is where I put all my fussy cut stuff. So I don't know, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I like the different sizes of paper and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my progress because I've made a lot of progress in this book. I mean, a lot, <laughs> it's getting really big. So anyways, yeah, that's where I'm at with this book and I hope to do a video tomorrow of me working in it with you guys. I also have a happy mail video coming up and yeah, I don't know what else I'll be doing this week, but we'll be doing some stuff. So, anywho, enjoy your Sunday, guys, and have a good day. I will see you in the next video, and until then, bye.